Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to do a morning routine ISO edition. Just keep in mind, I did film this video like two to three weeks ago. So that's probably why I'm wearing shorts to bed, whereas now it's freaking cold and I'm wearing trackies to bed. But I usually get up around 7, 7.30. Peter normally sleeps in maybe like an hour after me. But within that hour, I go on my social media, check my feed, I go through my DMs, um, I go through my emails. As you can see here, I'm going through probably Instagram feed and then I'm pretty sure I went through an email. That's why I'm like super concentrated on my phone. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just spend like an hour or so, even half an hour, it just depends on when he wakes up. Sometimes it's half, sometimes it's an hour. Um, and I just go through my phone, get ready for the day. I make a little to-do list sometimes of stuff that I need to get done, whether I need to film a video, film some content. I have anything that's scheduled to go up today, I check. So yeah, after I do that, I get up. Love how I film this. I get up, I give Peter a little kiss. I go into the bathroom and start doing my hair. Usually I just start by brushing it. And then I just either put it up in a bun or in a low bun or a pony, just whatever I'm feeling on the day. And yeah. And then after I've done my hair, I just wash my face. I can't not start the day without washing my face. It just wakes me up. And then the hardest part of my day is picking out some active wear to wear. Um, so yeah, about two to three weeks ago, I was all for working out in the morning. Now I'm an afternoon gal, but it just depends. I always try and get a workout in. Wearing the stack seamless. I love this color. It's so freaking nice. Um, but yeah, as I said, I still try and get in one workout a day. Then I'm just spraying my underarms with some deodorant. I use the Rexona and then just pack away all of the stuff that I used in the morning. Then I go into my little sock drawer, grab some socks and chuck on my Apple Watch. Can't miss this. I honestly feel like I haven't done a workout when I don't put my Apple Watch on. And then I get up, turn the alarm off, And then I walk to the kitchen. Don't even know why I put my socks on here, but I was like, shit, I forgot to put my socks on on the bed. But I just put my socks on. And then I went to make a coffee. Sometimes I have a coffee after I work out. It just depends if I'm like needing it and I'm tired. But this is like my go-to coffee at the moment. I love this almond milk by um, Aldi. It's the unsweetened one. It's really affordable as well. I think it's like $1.80 for a carton. Not a carton, like a bottle. Um, and then I just pick an espresso pod, chuck it in, and I put a teaspoon of stevia in, and then make my coffee. And then while I'm waiting for my milk to froth, I just open up all of the blinds and just get some natural lighting in. By the way, those glasses are from Big W. Both of them are broken on me, so I need to go and get some more, but they're so freaking cute. Um, and then I'm just being a little bit bougie today and putting some Avalanche sugar-free drinking chocolate on top. I just got that little shaker thing from Coles, but there is my morning coffee. So then while I'm drinking my coffee, I'll open up my laptop and just spend a little bit of time here, usually like 20 minutes to half an hour, depending on how much I have to do, if I have to reply to some emails. So yeah, when I do upload a vlog or anything like that, I will um, take about half an hour of my time when I first upload it and reply to all the comments. 
And then as you can see, I've decided to talk some shit on stories, not even sure what I was talking about, but yeah, this is just the time where I wake up, say hey to you guys on Instagram stories, reply to my emails. Sometimes I reply to DMs through my Facebook on my laptop, which is super, super easy. I didn't even realize you could integrate it. And yeah, after I finished my coffee, I shut down my laptop and put on my runners. By the way, these ones are from Princess Polly. They're by the brand um, New Balance. I'm not sure if they have them on the website, but they're so freaking cute. I have them in white as well and really comfy and good for any sort of type of training. I literally wear them all the time. So then I go outside and set up. I'm pretty sure I did a body pump workout today, which I actually haven't done this week, which I should probably do today. Um, but yeah, I did get this at home barbell and dumbbell set from a girl online. She DM'd me and said she's selling hers. So thankfully, um, yeah, I picked that up from her. She was just from Perth. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm using for the equipment. And then I just set up my laptop on a stool. So many of you guys <laughs> said that you have anxiety, but like as if it's going to fall off, you know what I mean? Unless I literally like knock it, but it's, it's pretty far away from where I'm standing. So it's fine. So yeah, I do my 40, 45 minute body pump workout. As I said, this was filmed a few weeks ago when it wasn't bloody six degrees outside. <laughs> That's why I don't really work out in the mornings anymore because it is getting way colder. I am enjoying my Pilates though. So I've been doing a lot of that indoors and even going into Pilates um, in the studio in Perth as well. But here's a little time lapse of my workout. Then I always like to end my workouts with a nice big stretch. So freaking good. And then I put away my equipment because Peter gets angry when I don't. <laughs> and then Peter locked me out because he thought it was funny. Then I go to annoy him for a little bit. I always try and hug him when I'm all sweaty and he hates it. <laughs> he was literally half asleep. I swear he loves me. Um, and then I go and take off my shoes, put them in the garage. I have so many shoes, like look at my shoe collection. I mean, can't have enough shoes. And then I go for a shower and obviously you guys aren't coming. So see you in a second. So after I finish my shower, I put my Apple watch on straight away because I'm obsessed. I feel like I'm lost without it. And then I go ahead to do my skincare and body care routine. So. I always go in with the Hideaway Body Custard. They're my absolute favorites. I put them all over my body. And the skincare that I'm using at the moment is by these brands, Medic 8, and I can't remember the last one, but I'll leave it linked down below. They're some of the products that Erin from Erin Aesthetics, which is a place in Perth where I go to get my facials recommended for me. So I've just been trialing them out and so far I'm loving them. So as I said, I do lather my body in the body custards from Hideaway. I absolutely love them. They're so hydrating and they smell amazing. Like you literally don't even need to wear perfume. Like they just last so well on your skin. They don't leave like an oily residue in your skin. They really soak into the skin and just, I don't know, it just makes your skin feel really soft. So I'm loving the body custard. This one's pink sugar. Then I'm just putting on my moisturizer, putting it all over my face. I will leave in the description box what I'm using, but I sort of rotate between this one, the Dermalogica one, and then sometimes I use the Ole Henriksen one. It just really depends. And then I'm just going in with like, a, I'm pretty sure it's called a water veil, but it's got SPF 50 in it. So I always like to put sunscreen on my face, especially if I'm going for a walk that day. I pretty much put it on every day anyways. And that is my skin, all nice and glowy. And then I go into my wardrobe and choose an outfit. It's so messy. I have to really declutter all of the stuff up the top and on that um, drawer bench top. Then I go ahead and choose an outfit. I pretty much just get straight back into active wear. I love those crops. Um, and then I think today I decided to go with an oversized tee because who doesn't want to be comfy when you're lounging around in your house? So I just decided to wear this oversized tee put some deodorant on first. Yeah, I'm just putting on this oversized tee. It's quite long, 
So I don't think I even put any pants on. And then Peter decided to interrupt. Thanks, sir. Um, and then I just decided to spray some of the black sugar um, hideaway body mist because it smells like YSL black opium. It's amazing. Then I go to make the bed. Here's a little cute time lapse. All of my linen is from Linen House as well as the pillows. My bed head is from Harvey Norman as well as my blanket box. And I will leave the link to my prints in the description. My bedside tables are from Kmart. Then I go back into my little spot in the kitchen. My water bottle is from Move. I will leave it linked down below as well. So yeah, I go back into my kitchen and I'm pretty sure today I worked a little bit on Jazz Handmade. So I was just writing some stuff, getting some quotes, um, just going back and forth between manufacturers. I'm pretty sure at this point I was designing my new packaging. So yeah, I like to use pen and paper when I am trying to get my ideas across because it's just so hard to explain sometimes. So yeah, that's what I've been doing in the whole design process. I've just been sort of like sketching stuff. Then I was just doing shipping quotes and stuff like that and just working out approximately like how much a under 500 gram satchel is going to cost me. And then obviously comparing the cost with other careers and stuff like that. So, so yeah, that's what I've been doing day to day. Um, I've just been like allocating a few hours to work on the business, but obviously I do have other commitments as well. So I try not to let it take over too much of my life, but I'm just so obsessed with the whole process of it all. As you can see, I was measuring up some mailer bags just to see um, what, like, what type of mailers I was going for. I don't think I will end up going for the padded ones because I do have a new design in mind. But yeah, that's pretty much like what I do in the mornings. So yeah, that's what I was doing during my isolation morning routine. We are still sort of in isolation right now. Um, here in Australia, um, we don't have our restaurants opening just yet, but I'm pretty sure they should be opening next week. I know that some restaurants are allowing 20 people to go in, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, obviously this was when there was absolutely nothing open and we basically couldn't really go anywhere and everyone was sort of staying at home. So I hope you guys enjoy my little ISO morning routine. And if you want me to do a nighttime routine, I will gladly post that for you guys as well. Let me know in the comments down below um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.